Hello guys, I've had the Turtle Beach X12s for approximately two weeks now. I feel that it's enough time for me to do my review on them. For those who don't know, the Turtle Beach X12 is a gaming headset for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and I believe it's also for the computer. The Turtle Beach X12 can connect to its source via a 3.5 millimeter male jack to receive the audio. It uses USB to receive power and it can also connect to a 3.5 millimeter female input for a microphone to use its microphone as you can see right there. Um, the Turtle Beach X12 I believe is the latest addition to the the wired headset line from Turtle Beaches the previous being the Turtle Beach X11's. So what I what I feel about these headphones is to me they're they're just I recommend them like completely they are worth the price I paid sixty dollars for them I'd pay sixty dollars again if they broke because these headphones are just pretty much magnificent in the way that they pretty much work as advertised the so I use these with the Xbox 360 because that's the that's my main system I also have a PlayStation 3 but I only use that for its blu-ray purposes so the Turtle Beach X12 to me has it, it'll it'll greatly improve your gaming experience because sound a lot of people don't even know that sound is really a, a giant key factor in the competitive game and play because you're not going to always visually be able to see where your opponent is at but you're going to most likely always be able to hear where your opponent is at if he's like behind a wall um in a in another floor or uh, if he's behind you if you can hear all these you know these special spatial cues between you and your opponent you're going to have a higher advantage over him because you could be able to anticipate his movement say if, if you can hear it come up the stairs and then you're waiting behind this door because the stairs only leads to that door you could be able to sit there and wait for this guy to come here for the easy kill because you're just standing still he most likely can't hear you if you're standing still but he's moving around and you can hear them but um in the games like call of duty where they they take notice of this and they added perks like ninja and ninja pro where your footsteps are silent um these turtle beach headsets can still prove effective because not everyone uses that perk but the ninja poke i mean a ninja perk will kind of um defeat the purpose of these headphones but that doesn't mean you just stop using them you can still use them but games like gears of war and halo where it doesn't have any perk systems that will manipulate how other characters will you know approach you in the battlefield you can always um hear their footsteps so these headphones would be effective in every situation there's so many times in gears of war 3 where if i didn't have these headsets i would have got killed from behind i would never had clutched that moment i would have never pretty much i would never had won the match because there be so many times where i can hear someone running behind me with the sawed off shotgun and i just i can just pretty much start bolting forward to get the hell out of there or there be like the sawed off shotgun in gears of war 3 it makes a distinct noise when someone pulls it out with these headphones, I can hear that noise around the corner to just know that area is a is a danger zone because I'm not going to try to push the guy with a sword off because he can just instantly insta-give me without really even aiming. So, <clears throat> these headphones have proven effective in so many situations that that in its, own, in its own sense is pretty much worth the money. Just hearing your opponent in every situation, only in certain games, like I said, not Call of Duty, but just being able to hear your opponent is like having... It's like having a radar with you at all times when you really think about it. Plus, it also immerses you into the gameplay a lot better. Explosions, um, gunshots, um, just the environmental noises. You, you pretty much feel like that you're in the game, basically. You're just immersed into the game. Um, the sound quality on these things, I've actually tested these headphones with music, and they actually sound pretty suburb of music. I thought I was expecting them to sound you know muddy and washed out but they actually sound pretty nice they actually to me they sound comparable to the beats by dr dre studio headphones so the speaker quality on these i believe the speaker size is a 50 millimeter it's a very good speaker the bass doesn't sound boomy and under and distorted it actually sounds crisp and with authority so a lot of like i said before explosions and games are going to sound very very lifelike the um the microphone quality is the the only downside I have to the microphone quality is that it's very sensitive, and it will pick up a lot of ambient noise in your background, like people talking. It will it will pick up those noises if you have um music playing in the background and all that other stuff. It's gonna pick up those noises, 
But the pro side to that is that you can you don't have to talk very loudly in a microphone and pick up your voice. Also, with this the technology that it has, it has this um, feature where when you talk, it slightly it slightly it slightly plays what you what the microphone is picking up in the headphones, so you can kind of hear yourself while you're talking to help prevent you screaming over the mic because you can't hear yourself over the the game noise. Um, to me, that feature is, is um, I I find it very welcoming because. There be times where I can kind of hear stuff in the background going off that I don't want in the mic, so I just mute the mic, and it does kind of help me not scream into the mic. Even though normally I just talk at a at a normal tone in all situations, so yeah, the mic is adjustable, but it's not removable, so that's that's one kind of downside if the mic breaks. But it's pretty durable, so you can see that the mic can actually pivot and turn on the headphones themselves. So like say you don't need the mic at all, you can just easily pivot it up and move it away from you and use it as like a music head headphone or um movies or if you're just gaming solo and you don't want to talk to anyone. The aesthetics, like the way that the headphones look in my opinion, they look very nice with a nice green and black contrast. You can see the Turtle Beach um Turtle Beach trademark and icon inside the headphones speaker and houseman as well. The comfortability in my opinion is very, very good. They pretty much, they go, like, they feel like they're not even there. After about, like, five minutes of putting them on, your head gets used to them, and they feel like they're not there. So it's good for long gaming sessions. The, um, what else? As you can see, the the amplifier here, this is probably, like, the greatest invention ever because it puts a macro focus. You can adjust the game volume and the chat volume independently without having to get up and go, and go next to where your all those controls are. So if someone joins the party and starts screaming all of, out of nowhere, you could just adjust the chat volume and turn it down, or you could just adjust the game volume higher, or the game, if there's a, there's a point in the game where it just got ridiculously loud, just adjust the game volume. You can also independently adjust the bass boost. I believe that the older X11s only had a bass boost switch on and off, so you can't individually adjust how much that specific frequency gets boosted by decibel level. And also you can mute and unmute the mic. Red mean that the mic is muted, green mean the mic is unmuted. So I believe that is all that I can cover on these headphones. Out of 10, I'd basically give these headphones a 10, really, a 10 out of 10. I'd give these headphones a perfect rating. So guys, if you have any questions or comments that I didn't answer in this review, as always, feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.